Hey guys, so I know that these look a little bit confusing, but we're going to work together as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, grade four, chapter two, lesson two. Um, and we're going to start with number two because I already did number one for you. Okay, so it says at the zoo, there are three times as many monkeys as lions. So this one's monkeys, this one's lions, and there are three times as many monkeys as lions. Okay, which means if lions has one, monkeys has three. Okay. Tom counted a total of 24 monkeys and lions. Okay. So these drawings are helpful because it means that we take the number, the total number, and we divide it by the number of boxes. So I'm going to divide it by four. Okay. So now I know that four goes into 24 six times. 24. None left over, we're good. That means that each one of these boxes is worth six, okay? So how many monkeys were there? Okay, well, monkeys is all of these, okay? So we have six and we have three of them. That's 18 monkeys. Done, okay? We're going to do number three, okay? Fred's frog jumped seven times as far as Al's frog. So, Fred, Al, Fred's frog, seven times what Al's frog did. Al's frog is one, Fred's frog is seven, okay? Total, there's 56 inches. How far did Fred's frog jump? So we want to know this one. Okay. Okay. So, but I have 56. And I'm going to divide that by the number of boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now I know eight goes into 56 seven times. That is 56. Okay. That means that each one of these boxes is worth Seven, okay? And it wants to know how far Fred's frog jump, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times seven, because each one of the boxes is worth seven. That is 49, and it's being measured in inches, okay? All right. Sheila has five times as many markers as Dave. So Sheila. Dave. Sheila has five times as many as Dave. Okay. Together, they have 18 markers. Okay. Well, that means that in order to find out how much each box is worth, I'm going to divide this 18 by the number of boxes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, and six times three is 18. That means that each one of the boxes is worth three. How many markers does Sheila have? Well, Sheila has one, two, three, four, five, and each one of those is worth three. She has 15 markers. Okay? All right. All right, guys. You guys are going to do five and six, and you are going to go ahead and do... A lesson check on the back. You guys totally can. I believe in you. Okay, we are going to do the spiral review. It is important to remember what we have learned. So, Barbara has nine stuffed animals. Trish has three times as many stuffed animals as Barbara. How many does Trish have? Same thing, guys. Okay. So, Barbara and Trish. Okay. Barbara has nine. Okay, so we would have nine boxes, okay? Trish has three times that many. So she has those nine, but then she has three more, or three times more. So nine times three, 27 stuffed animals. There you go, okay? All right, number four. There are 104 students in fourth grade at Allison School. One day, 15 fourth graders were absent. 
how many fourth graders were at school that day? Well, that's going to be easy. We have 104, and we're going to minus the 15. Okay? So, 4 cannot take away 5. I can't borrow from 0. I have to go all the way over, make that a 0. Now that's a 10. Okay? Now, in order to borrow 1, I can borrow 1 from the 10, which makes it a 9. And it makes us 14. So 14 take away 5 is 9. And 9 minus 1 is 8. So there are 89 fourth graders. Okay? All right. Joshua has 12 rocks. Jose has 98 rocks. Albert has 107 rocks. Write the boys' names in order from least to greatest. So the smallest number between 112, 107, and 98 is going to be 98. So Jose, okay. Next, between 107 and 112 is going to be 107. So Albert and lastly is going to be Joshua. All set, guys. Okay, number six. Okay. Number six says Alicia has 32 stickers. This is four times as many stickers that Benita has. How many stickers does Benita have? Well, if Alicia has 32 stickers, and that's four times more than what Benita has, then we need to divide by four to decide how many Benita has. So I know that four times eight is 32. Okay. So, Benita has eight stickers. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 2.2. Come on back for 2.3. See you soon.